three years ago, Joe Biden appointed Kamala Harris as border czar. Do you remember that? The border czar. And I quote President Biden when he said, she speaks for me. And I quote, is the most qualified person to do it. So where is the border czar now? She won't be with Joe Biden on the border later this week when he visits for only the second time as president. Let's be clear, when the White House scrambled on what they should do, they said, okay, let's send the president down to the border. Why? Why? Because he's got a political crisis on his hands, not because he wants to solve the border crisis. He has a national security crisis, but the White House sees this as a political crisis. And so they sent him down to the border for the photo op. I hope he finally opens his eyes without having his border czar, who speaks for him, with him, to see what the American people already know. The southern border is in chaos. Nine million illegals crossing and counting. Record fentanyl flooding our country. Record illegals on the FBI terror watch list. I spoke with a high-level individual from Central Asia today who said they believe there are over 50,000 Central Asians who have come across the southern border just last year, and they're very concerned they're individuals who are part of sleeper cells for a possible terror attack on our soil. The result of Biden's border crisis is deadly. When will enough be enough? We've been rocked by the murder of Lake and Riley an innocent 22-year-old nursing student in Georgia. That hits close to home as a father of two young women. When will enough be enough? Mr. President, do your job and protect our homeland.